think with me for just a moment back to some exponent rules that we talked about last unit. Okay? If we are multiplying like bases, what do we do with our exponents? Yes, we add them. Okay? If we are dividing like bases, what do we do with our exponents? Mm hmm. Subtract. If we have a power being raised to a power, what's the rule here? x to the 20th, right? We multiply. Okay? Remembering the last couple days, we, we've just now started talking about logarithms, and we have figured out because you can find logarithms from exponents by switching x and y, um, we re remember that those are inverses of each other. Okay? So, does it make sense then that their rules would be related, but inverses of each other? I hope so. Okay? So, here are the log properties, the log rules. Log base 2 of x times y. Well, if we're multiplying inside of a log, what are we actually doing with these two numbers? When we were multiplying like bases, what did we do with the numbers? We added. So if we're multiplying inside of a log, guess what we're actually doing? We're actually adding those two things together. Okay? What if we're dividing something inside of a logarithm? Log base 3 of x divided by y. Well, when we divided, what did we do with the exponents? We subtracted. So guess what we're doing with the values inside of the log? Log base 3 of x minus log base 3 of y. Okay? Uh, what about something like this? Log base x, uh, log base 5 of x cubed. So it's got an exponent inside of a log. Well, what did we do with these two numbers? A number being raised to a power? We multiplied those two numbers. This one's not quite as, as similar, um, quite as easy to see, but what actually happens is this 3 does become a multiplier down in front of the log. So it becomes 3 log base 5 of x. Okay? So these are three simple log properties that we're going to deal with um, in the next couple days, um, but especially tomorrow. So I need you to know that, and I also need you to know one more. Okay? Log base b of b. Okay? Log base b of b, what does that equal? We're going to just say for a moment we're going to call that x. Okay? Well, if I took this and rewrote it in exponential form like we've doing, been doing the last couple days, the base of the log would become the base of the exponent, the answer would become the exponent, and the argument is what it equals. Well, if b to the x equals b, what does x equal? I hope it's obvious that x equals 1, because there is an exponent of 1 on this number, isn't there? Okay? So if I said something like log base 5 of 5, what does that equal? Well, it's going to equal 1, as long as the base and the argument are exactly the same, it's going to be 1 taking it very, very, very shortly one step further, what if I had log base 5 of 25? Can you see that this can be rewritten as log base 5 of 5 squared? Because 25 is 5 squared, correct? What if I rewrote this in exponential form? 5 to some unknown, some unknown, equals 5 squared. What is the unknown? It's 2, right? The exponents have to be equal because the bases are equal. So a short way to see that then is log base 5 of 5 to the 2 power. Remember what I told you just a second ago with this rule? This exponent comes down in front as a multiplier, so it would be 2 log base 5 of 5, and we know log base 5 of 5 is 1. Well, what's 2 times 1? Just 2. Okay? Please fill out your um, form after this, and I will see you tomorrow.